Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the city of Douglas. Mayor and Commission meet. This will serve as our regular meeting for February the 14th, 2022. The next item on the agenda is the invocation. Commissioner Dern. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. We we'll have our invocation by Pastor Casey Wright, who's our fire chief, and he's the pastor of West Green Baptist Church in West Green, Georgia. We thank you, Chief. Thank you, Commissioner. Good afternoon. Good Let evening. us pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We know, God, this is a day that we celebrate love. Look, I, I, I just cannot let this day go by without praising you. For knowing that I would not know love had you not loved me first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Father, for all the blood that gets swung, God, all the things get said about us. The love that you have and that you've instilled in my heart says no man can pluck me out of thy hand. Lord, I praise you for that tonight. Yes. I thank you, God, for this community. I thank you, God, for the opportunity to serve, God, those around us. For the love that we have, that we may be betterments unto our fellow man. Mm. God, that we love our neighbor as ourselves. Lord, I love you tonight. I thank you, God, for all you've done. I've asked, Father, for your guidance, your leadership, your direction upon each and every one of us. In your precious and holy name, we ask these things. Amen. 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 The next item on the agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. And as always, we're going to have the Coffee High Navy Junior ROTC. If you would, please stand and face the flag. Tonight we have Seaman Recruit and Ensign Music, Petty Officer Mercer, and that's Seaman Recruit Hall. I'm sorry. No. 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 You may be seated. <laughs> uh, the next item on the agenda, and please be advised, we uh, interjected uh, Cheerleaders <coughs> Elite at number five. So the next item on the agenda is the approval of the order of the agenda. So moved. Second. It's been motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is going to be Cheer Leads Elite. If you would, if y'all would come forward, please. All right, girls. How y'all doing? Let's have them turn around the other way. <laughs> so, for our citizens that are not familiar with Cheer Leads Elite, this is a premier competitive cheer program based in Douglas, Georgia. The program was founded in the summer of 2020 by head coach Mary Shazman Thomas. Since its creation, the program has received hundreds have serviced hundreds of girls within the Coffee County community. One of the major branches of Cheer Leads Elite is their compet co competition cheer team, which is currently in its first season of competition. So far this season, the girls have placed first at the Twisted Competition in Atlanta, Georgia, Superior at the All Out Cheer Competition in Savannah, Georgia, and first place at the Diamond Dance and Cheer Competition in Tampa, Florida at Bush Gardens this past weekend. While at this competition, Cheerleads Elite also earned two bids 
to two major competitions this spring. They have excelled in their first season and look forward to continued success. Basically, they let y'all know they just got started and they bad. Okay, they just let y'all know they just got started and they bad. So, I'd like the leadership team to come up. There you go. Say a few things. Uh, my name is um, Shasta Thomas. Um, like Mayor Pop said in the paper, we started CLE right when the pandemic first began. I had just moved back home from Florida, um, and I was bored, really. And I was taking kids in the neighborhood to learn how to flip. And it just kind of turned to every Saturday we'd get the girls together and we'd just teach them the basics of cheer. And it moved from that to a whole lot of girls just started showing up. And I was like, OK, we need to do something with it. June 2020 is when we started. Um, we didn't have a building. We practiced um, Mr. Anthony White's studio for a little while. We grew out of that, having about 100, like 100 girls every Saturday. So we had to move from there, we moved to the Central Square Gym, we grew out of that. Um, then we ended up not having anywhere to go. But God blessed us with this old church that I grew up in that was not being used anymore. We used that for a little while. And then I was like, you know what? God, I need something bigger. And he blessed us with like a 5,000 square foot um, building where we're currently at right now. And it's just been amazing with these young girls because when I first started it, I never knew that it would grow into something like this. I was literally just helping young girls. That's all I wanted to do. Give them a safe space to come to. Give them something to do to stay out the streets. Give them something to do to not, you know, do stuff with teenage girls do or what this. Always hanging out late at night or going here or going there, just giving them a safe space to feel like they're own. A lot of these girls that you see up here never cheered before. Okay? Who cool wait? Raise your hand if you never cheered before. All of them, pretty much, except for a couple. <laughs> and so it's been a it's been a, a, a crazy, amazing ride. I'm just so thankful for the opportunity to get to connect these amazing young ladies to you all. And we're hoping in the near future that we'll get the bill a gym from the ground up because we literally started from the bottom and now we're still climbing that ride. So, thank you. Good deal. young ladies right here right. represent Coffee County down in another state in another city. Yeah. But how do we get there? We have a young lady and her leadership team that saw a need for our young ladies and they come up with this. So we have Mr. Mike Mazzell out there. We have other individuals out there trying to make a positive impact in our community. I say this and I say it all the time. Our children have enough critics. What they need is champions. They need somebody to shut up and take action. Just like these young ladies over here. So, once again, let's give the lead, uh, cheerleaders elite a round of applause. Okay. Can y'all come in close? Close. The, the shorter one's shorter in, the in the front. In the front. It was, it was front row, second row. Yeah, there you go. I know how close. Perfect. Shorter one's in the front. Go down. Okay. There you go. Now this is the back row. The back row's come over. There you go. Come on, let's get started. There you go. Good deal. 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 
I do want to call a good All right, good deal. Next item on the agenda is the consent agenda items. As always, Mr. City Manager, will you please read off those items? Uh, Mayor and Council, all items coming over on the consent agenda tonight. There's five items. Uh, I'll read them off to you. First one is approval of the January 25th, 2022 meeting minutes. Next item is item two, approval of the FY22 baseball, softball, and swim equipment bid. Item three, approval of the concrete work bid 12422 repair and maintenance. Next item is item four, approval of the Woodrow Sap, sap quote to remove debris from well four. And the last item is approval of the ESG engineering task order for aeration filtration upgrades at the wastewater treatment plant. Those are your five items. At this time, I entertain a motion for the consent agenda items. I move. Second. It's been motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carried. Uh, there were no work session items brought forward for discussion. Are there any staff comments? There are no staff comments. At this time, I entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. It's been motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. We stand adjourned. Why next?